Hi guys! Welcome back to Tree Channel! How are you all doing everybody? I hope you're doing fine. I hope you're doing alright. I hope you're happy. Everybody is okay. <laughs> nice to see you back. Thank you for tuning in. Yes. Um, hi Jose. Nice to see you back again. <laughs> Yes, guys, are you ready for today's topics? Today we're going to talk about uh, Psalm, Psalm chapter 107. Psalm chapter 107, okay? Today we're going to talk about give thanks to the Lord for He is good. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love endures forever. This is the book of Psalm, guys. So 107, chapter 107, which is I put down for my first page. If you go to my YouTube channel on the first page, it's about give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love endures forever. Okay, guys, I just want to share quickly with you, okay? And today is about give thanks to God. It's about to be thankful to count our blessings remember i put the previous down before and i teach you guys about i share about how we should count our blessings how we should think positive how we shouldn't be negative how we shouldn't be discouraged how to be thankful how to count our blessings so this is video today's video is about how to give thanks to our lord yes guys there's so many things right you can thankful for and how do you count your blessing it's very simple i just want to let you know to share to you today for all of you who watch this video right now i just want you to count your blessings please can you please count your blessing for seven blessings that god has given to you or god has spoken to you um, throughout the whole weeks or even throughout the whole months and today we are still in the beginning of november in the beginning of the month guys it's always great to be thankful to god or what god has given to us or what god has spoken to us in the book of psalm guys we can really learn the psalm chapter 107 um for all the chapter 107 is about give thanks you can read and we can read like first second and to first until the whole the whole chapter really until first 43 it's about the goodness of god it's about god bring us from the dark to the light and this is like spiritual blessing that god give to his children to each and every one of us as his children okay guys so yes i want you please may i encourage you to get your pen and paper or or you don't have pen and paper you don't have to just please remember for the last october that we have been passed and for this coming november what god has spoken to you what god has done in your life and makes you happy and makes you so thankful some of you maybe you're thankful because of your children you're thankful because of your parents you're thankful because um god has spoken to you about something or you have a new vision or new goal a new target that you want to achieve during the next month or for the years to come even please guys uh, drop down your comments below what do you want to be thankful for you want to be thank you for god because of your salvation oh yes for those of you you just um accepted christ one more time i just want to say to you congratulations to you that you have accepted christ and we welcome you in this family <laughs> yes congratulations so yes guys so in first second okay we carry on the first the second one psalm chapter 7 first Two, it say, let the redeem of the Lord say this: Does he redeem from the hand of the foe? Does he gather from the land, from east and west, from north and south? Some wander in desert wasteland, finding no way, a city where they could settle. They were hungry and thirsty, and their lives ebbed away. 
then they cry out to the Lord in their trouble and he delivered them from their distress amen thank you God guys so many times that in our distress when we pray so often you can really feel like God really delivered us and God bring us back to the salvation and God bring us back to his kindness to his love everything that we can think of guys for the blessings and if I can mention seven blessings guys um, for me throughout the whole months and everything I want to thank you first of all I want to thank you for each and every one of you who subscribe my channel I really thankful for that and I continue to pray that you are all in my prayer list that I want to continue to pray for you to bless you and to remember you in my prayer that you join this family together with me to go through this journey together with me to know more about Christ and to grow more in Christ I thank you so much guys the second thing I want to thankful for it's I want to thank you that each and every one of you are just so special whoever are you that you are watching this video wherever are you whoever are you what are you doing I'm just so thankful for you guys who all of you that who watching this video right now I'm so thankful for you that each and every one of you are very very special the second thing guys I want to thankful for I want to thank you God until now still with us today that he never never forsake us he never leave us the fourth thing and I want to thankful for guys today I can still make this video and talking to you share about to be thankful in God and the fifth thing I want to share about guys I want to be thankful for is like I want to thank God that I can still have a chance guys I can still have a chance to live and enjoy life for today yes and the sixth one I want to thankful for is because Christ live inside each and every one of us who call to be his children to call to be his own son and daughter and for the Almighty God that accepted us without seeing how blemished how dirty we are but he accepted us i want to thank you for that and for each and every one of us as well i just want to thank you that he loved us just the same each and every one of us he cared for all of us and the second thing i want to thankful for although last but not least guys i just want to thank you for the salvation of christ that every day for his grace for his salvation in our lives is the same today tomorrow and forever days to come guys I just want to encourage you again if you feel down or if you feel like uh, life has been not going well in your way can I please may encourage you again as soon as you turn up this video guys you know what the topic you're gonna get is about the word encouragement It's about somebody telling you please pull through and of course you can do this because the spirit that live inside of you is greater from the spirit of the world isn't it great guys and if you don't believe me guys please go back to your Bible again and reach again about the promises of God you are here for each and every one of us guys you are here for no coincidence you are here for a purpose we all have different career some of you may be a nurse some of you are doctors some of you are lawyers some of you are politicians some of you are dentists some of you a businessman a businesswoman some of you are beauticians some of you designer each and every one of you guys have a different calling and have a different purpose and mission to do in this earth guys I just want to encourage you we just have one life to live what you gonna live your life for what you gonna achieve guys we just have one chance to live in this earth what you want to be achieved or maybe you want to be a greater scientist 
that you want to create or you want to find some cure or medicine for certain diseases please guys go ahead god has put you on the words of knowledge of you that you maybe have a very smart in you that's for a reason guys and some of you an athletes you know and um, you have a certain goal that you want to achieve maybe you want to join an olympics one day please guys go ahead please do it for me guys i just want to share to you that i know that <laughs> some of you already know of about me my name is Shri, by the way and my i just find my purpose in life that like i want to continue to share the goodness of god to other people guys i'm not I really want to share this to you I'm not joking guys last two years I just had a bladder infection and it was really bad I am 34 year old, 34 years old now and for the 34 years guy back two years ago I was 32 I never ever experienced hospital in my whole life guys never ever for the 32 years i never experienced hospital in my life and those flashback those two years ago i had a bladder infection and it was really bad it was really bad guys to the point like i couldn't urinate it was so painful for those of you who experience or you, maybe your family member who experienced bladder infection it was so painful guys i must say and i was in fear i don't know what the future gonna be and i thought i might die and when i was i still remember when i was lying down in the hospital that night i was thinking if my life is finished tonight like finish will I live a life for a regret and that night guys think through it flashback that night I prayed like yes God God if you taken my life this day yes I will have a life of regret because I haven't done I haven't shared the good news of Christ to other people and for after okay long story cut short guys so God healed me all through all the doctors and nurses have helped me to pass through that difficult time and long story cut short i was here like gradually gradually recover recover and i was able to urinate urinate again and i thought i thought my life is just gonna end in the, that hospital that night because i was so painful there were no hope it was the loneliest place ever I have experienced guys and after I get recovered and everything I think through I reflect back of what life is about and I got reminded like three if we have one calling to do I just want to say to God like sorry guys I'm getting emotional because I really felt like when I was lying down on the bed, guys, I really felt like no hope. I was in fear. I was in loneliness because, because I just felt like I was so weak. I couldn't do anything. Imagine, guys, with me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> because that was the darkest moment of my entire of 32 years and and i'm um, long story cut short guys so i got recovered and i get to reflect back what's about life and then i can really sure that one in my prayer nights 
after I got recovered, I think it was two weeks after that or a week after that, I was really thinking through what life is about. Then I have made a decision like God. Yes, this is maybe, I believe it's the second chance that you want me to go through life again. And I say to God, yes, God, I want to share the good news, the good news about Jesus to other people who have never heard this. Or maybe uh, new Christians or new believers who just encounter you. And I just want to be part of a person and encourage you guys that that for those of you who share the same faith as me, I want to say to you that Jesus is real and God is real and God put us in this earth for a purpose. And I'm here for you guys. I keep putting up a video about how the goodness of God and today we learn about give thanks to the Lord is to reflect back of what God has called each and every one of us to do and to be thankful that He is there with us and we never alone. And I'm so thankful guys, I found a spiritual family like you guys who subscribe my channel and keep coming back and supporting me to create more videos. I really appreciate it guys. I never thought that somebody would just watch my video. And yes, I thank you so much guys and I'm humble. And I want to continue to share to people about the goodness of God, about Bible that he has saved my life and he is the same god that will capable and will save your life too yes guys uh, yes you know as i was preparing to filming this video guys i i literally praying to god like god what do you want to say to all my brother and sister watching this but as I pray and I pray, it just come out like I believe it's from the Lord that God wants to tell you to give thanks to Him, to continue count your blessings about what He has done in your life. And here I'm saying to you guys that I want to thankful that God give me a second chance to live and to recover from the blood infections and to spread the good news of his words yes guys and um yes yes this is why i keep creating video and makes videos because i just felt so thankful that he gave me a second chance yes guys so this is my testimony if you have heard and if you heard uh, if you had um, yes check out the video the previous video about the testimony about how God healed my grandpa and everything how my grandpa recovered from cancer I believe you all agree with me that that's like miracles yes I have experienced miracles guys in my life and um, I just want to keep sharing to you, to people, that God is still the same God. If God can do miracles in my life, yes, He can do miracles in your life, guys. Amen. Amen. Keep praying, guys. Keep praying, and God will show you the way. Because He created you. He knows you. You created on earth for a purpose. Each and every one of us have a purpose. Yes, guys. So this is what I want to share to you guys. Um, yeah, it's, it's nice weather here in the park. So great can be out in the park. <laughs> yes, guys. If you want to see more this video, if you like this video, guys, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Yes, guys, so this is, is today. This is what I'm going to share to you. Another life testimony of mine. 
I hope you learned something, guys. Thank you so much for your time that you have tuning in. I'm very, very grateful, and I'm going to say that I'm humble. I'm very humble. Yes, guys. So before I want to close this video, I just like always. I just want to pray for all of you. Let's pray. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus, dear Lord Jesus, dear Father. I just want to thank you so much, God, for this opportunity, for all my brother and sister who tuning in, who listening, who watching this video. I just want to thank you, God, for their lives. I just want to pray, oh Jesus, that you continue to work through their life, God. That each and every one of them, God, can find the purpose of their lives in you according to your way that you want them to be. Thank you, God, that you remind us to be thankful for who we are and for you, the Almighty God, that have created us for a purpose. Thank you, Jesus, to remind us to be thankful in you, to count our blessings each day and we can name them one by one we thank you so much God that you are so real to each and every one of us I pray for financial breakthrough career breakthrough for all all of my brother and sister watching this right now they will have a new hope in you God they will have an abundant life in you oh Jesus I thank you so much God for their lives Lord Please, Jesus, protecting them from the wicked ones, oh God. I pray for all of my brother and sister who are watching this, who are listening to this video, more wisdom, oh God. So that they can become, so that they can be blessed and become a blessing for others. I thank you so much, oh God. Whoever they are, wherever they're from, oh God. Their families, Jesus, I want to commit each and every one of them into the palm of your hands. I thank you so much, Jesus. I'm so grateful for each and every one of them. I want to continue to commit their lives into the palm of your hands. Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray and I thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes, brother and sister, thank you so much uh, for your time. <laughs> and yes. Yes, guys. So this is this is it. The video about today to give thanks to God and please remember write down the seven things today that you want to be thankful for God. Okay, guys. Uh, have a lovely day. See you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>